Hey, welcome back, everybody. Um, I wanted to give you another update on my ever expanding RO buddy, Deacon Aqua Life. Um, as you guys all know, and a quick summary, I've expanded um, the Aqua Buddy a few times. It's gone from a single membrane to a double membrane. I've used, um, I've changed it out to um, include two carbon um, modules, um, two DI modules, right? They all run, the flow of water all runs through each chamber before it goes to another chamber. Um, but today, I wanted to tell you, talk to you about me adding another H, HM Digital TDS meter into this um, this D, DI, and it's right here. I mean, not DI into the RO unit, but it's part of the the DI, right? So one of the reasons, one one of the things I did was. There's two DI chambers, right? Water flows in from from the um, RO membranes into here, and then it goes up and into the bottom of this DI and out into the into the bucket, right? Or the the barrel. Um, one of the things that I was having problems with was this really hard to see um change of ro color or i mean ro di resin color right so you see here it's like a, a light brown compared to this black right well one one thing happened um during a particular usage and i and i believe that the di resin all right, in that particular chamber may have been exhausted, but what happened was um, this was starting to turn fairly brown um, during maybe during one of my um, usages of this of the RO buddy. And um, what happened was going through here, it was coming out of here. I was still reg registering one TDS, all right, which is not a lot. But, you know, we're all striving for zero TDS, right? So this is supposed to be a, a backup or a catch-all when the first one is exhausted. And we're able to have a backup to catch the remaining TDS so that we can swap it when the time comes, right? Well, what happened was this was exhausted, the first chamber. But this was exhausted as well, but the color did not change um, very well. It didn't change, and it was still at one TDS. So why did I? So what I did was um, I changed out both the DIs that day, right? But you know I couldn't. But one thing that was perplexing me was. I couldn't tell that this was exhausted because it was just not um, prominent enough. And at least the brown, the brownness, like in this one, you can kind of tell. But you know, sometimes you can't tell because it's so minute of a um, of a color difference, right? So what I decided to do was to put a TDS meter right from where the RO water goes through here and then to this line that goes into the second DI, I put a TDS meter right here and it's this, it'll be this TDS meter, okay? And that way I can tell if this is exhausted because when the TDS coming out of the membrane and the water coming out of this DI is almost the same, then this is exhausted and I can tell. Right then, you know, obviously, I have the second meter where it reads, um, it reads, let's see, sorry, right here, it reads that, right? 
it reads the water going to my RO barrel, my RO water barrel, and now tell me if there's TDS like last time. Um, so I know when to change these out because these are the two components that exhaust the quickest, right? Because regardless of how much, you know, what kind of membrane you use, you're always going to get some type of TDS. You either going to be three to seven, right? And as your membranes get older and they start to, you know, exhaust, right? You're going to get higher TDS. And so you, that'll let you know when it's, when you feel is acceptable to change the membranes. I'm on, I'm not there yet. I think um, my TDS has increased like one almost every month, you know? So I'm like about, I think when I first started out, I was like four, now I'm about seven. Um, so I'm not there yet, but you know, obviously the DIs catch the rest and you need this, some t you need a, a way to catch the rest of the TDS. And so that's what I've been using. Now, the problem with these two is they're small and they exhaust very quickly. So I think I get about three usages before I have to swap out and move this one over and then put in a new one. So I run through these pretty often. Um, if you're doing water changes every week, you're gonna be water going through them very quickly. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, so see you guys next time. Remember, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, please hit hit the like button, subscribe, and obviously make a comment if you if I said something wrong or you like something or you have questions. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.